Okay, so that was the first time I think we, we did a, a business segment of, of one of these conferences. Uh, so let's get back to probably what you, a lot of you guys wanted to see. <laughs> so we're always working on tons of stuff at Ubiquity. We're like an incubator, right? We, we have a lot of diversification today, um, but keep in mind, whenever we do something new, it's with additional resources, right? It's not like we're pulling resources from product to product. So we're growing fast, but we've doubled our R&D staff in the past year. We're going to double it again over the next year. Um, but for the sake of, of keeping uh, the scope of this, this uh, show focused, I'm, I'm just going to concentrate on, on what we've done uh, in, in, in the WISP market, our, our R&D, and I'm going to focus on three, three new technology reinventions. So let's go to the first one. So I talked about the CPE, uh, the nano station in 2008, and this has done very well. We've sold millions and millions of nano stations worldwide, but the design has been bugging me for the last couple years. It's not quite perfect, and we, you know, we aim to make perfect products. So we wanted to redesign. We wanted to reinvent the CPE. And, and these are kind of the things we, we thought about. So the old nano station, one of the things I didn't like about it is it had a very wide azimuth pattern, which isn't good for spatial filtering, right? We're in the unlicensed bands. There's a lot of noise. You want as tight a beam as possible at your CPE to spatially filter out any interference and make your networks more robust, more scalable. So I knew we had to improve the, the beam directivity and, and ideally make it uniform. The second thing I didn't quite like about the nano station is the mounting. There was no flexibility. It had to be mounted on a pole. It wasn't really wall mountable unless it had an accessory. And there was really no alignment. So the elevation beam width was very tight, but there was no alignment. So a lot of people were buying accessories to align the product. The third thing is the industrial design. What we, we've come to learn over the past several years is it, it, it seems like customers, there's customers out there that are very sensitive about the aesthetics of these radios on, on their buildings and their rooftops. So we wanted to try to make just a beautif beautifully um, industrially, uh, industrial design product. And then of course, the product performance, we wanted to improve the hardware, we wanted better software, we wanted more efficient design, we wanted to really compact it. So let's see, this is how we start designs at Ubiquity. So I had this idea of a floodlight, which you just saw. And one day I was looking at, at the floodlight shape, and there was something really elegant and, and smooth and, and symmetrical about it. So I thought, OK, let's, let's start with a floodlight type of shape and create a uniform antenna beam. And let's see if, if we could solve the other issues I talked about before. So that this first design, it had, um, it had a pole mount. Uh, now it had an adjustable alignment, so you could orient it, uh, adjust it vertically. But it, it wasn't very robust. We had a door on the bottom. It, it was OK. Um, we printed it out, made prototypes. A week later, we tried to refine it. And then to, to make it more robust, we, we had discrete steps uh, with kind of a lever, so you could lock this in four um, discrete steps, alignment angles, and we improved the door, but it still wasn't great. Um, then we moved to another iteration of discrete alignment, and then we got more granular, almost like a continuous alignment, and we, we improved the door more, but it still wasn't quite right, so we worked on it some more. This, this iteration had a push-button lock, so the, the alignment was actually very robust, and um, I was thinking this, this might be the product we'd end up with. But uh, we were discussing one day, well, you could mount this on the pole, but what about wall mounting? It's, it's not very practical. And what if you wanted to angle the CP if it's on a wall around the corner to, say, a base station? So we, we, wanted, we wanted to really improve the mounting and make it more versatile. So we looked at ball and socket joints. And the ball and socket was difficult because it took up so much space on the back side, especially in a, a local type, small form factor CP, that it was difficult to do. So we kind of massaged and adjusted it. We added this neat 
uh, polarity alignment bubble at the top. So if you mounted it on a, on a, on a pole or a, a surface that wasn't exactly um, level, that you could adjust it with rotation. And, and this design was pretty good, but I still, it still wasn't tight enough. I thought it could be more efficient. So we worked on it more, and we worked on it more, and we got it. And I believe this, this is the best product we've designed at Ubiquity. We're calling it um, Nano Beam. This was what it looks like. It's uh, so. So it, it's really cool. It's it's completely sealed. There's no stickers. The LEDs shine through the enclosure. The door is is really nice and robust. We have a ball socket mechanism that it just kind of winds and unwinds and it clicks. Uh, maybe I can demonstrate it here. It could it could mount on a pole very robustly. It can mount on a wall with only one screw. You could swivel it all kinds of directions. You could put it on a, a wall at a corner and, and, and kind of uh, rotate it so it's looking around the corner of the uh, base station. And you look at, it, it looks really nice mounted. It's, it's very compact. Um, and it has that floodlight, that really symmetrical, smooth industrial design. And the best thing about it is the antenna. We worked really hard on this antenna. And we actually doubled the performance of the antenna over the nano station. So this is a full 19 dBi antenna gain, uh, very directive. In, 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 in some points of the band, it can get up to 20 dBi. It's, it's the best product, hands down, we've ever, we've ever designed. And, and uh, a lot of you might have seen the, the new air grid we're shipping with improved mechanicals. So we have a, a solid reflector dish, a two by two version of that same design, uh, and it's, it's, it's really elegant. It's a reflector dish, it's a feed, and it, it's a back end cap, and it's a bracket. So it's really four parts, and there's absolutely no screws. It all clicks together. And that's our high gain uh, model of NanoBeam. So we have 16 dBi, 19 dBi, 22, 25. It's the, whoops. Well, I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave that there. I was told it was something else. So this is the, the nano beam I showed. This, this uh, let's see if I can get it close to the microphone here. You can see it, it has a discrete point. It locks in place. And then you can press this button and you can unwind it. So complete uh, three axis freedom for alignment. It's got this polarity bubble alignment built in. So if it, you're, you're connected to, to a, a, a surface that's not level, you can compensate for it. The door is very solid. 100% sonically welded sealed, no stickers, so it's like the ultimate for weatherproof performance. <laughs>